it is possible to embed web content from the internet into your digital publishing projects for Art 2120 and it's actually really easy if you can find the embed code and so I'm going to take a minute to show you two ways to find and use an embed code in an InDesign project and show you a quick way to publish it to double check to make sure it's working. And so the first is if you use maybe like Google Maps and you wanted to have directions or a location, maybe there's a business in your project and you wanted to embed a map of where the business is located. Um, if you can find it on Google Maps or a map sharing website, um, in this case I got directions from my hometown, Burlington, New Jersey, to my current town, Salt Lake City, Utah, and I wanted to share this or embed this on one of my projects. In order for it to work, you must copy the embed code. You cannot copy the URL. And so once I have found the directions, I'm going to hit this little icon here, and it's going to ask me how I'd like to share the project. And instead of sharing a link, I'm going to embed the map. And now you could do more things to it from this point. I'm just simply going to copy and paste the embed code. Um, but you could, if you wanted to, change the size of the presentation. You could move around where you're viewing the, the map. And then it's literally as simple as coming, I'm going to get rid of these examples, um, as coming to InDesign and you don't have to create a text frame or a graphic frame or anything, just simply paste and InDesign will recognize that you're pasting an embed code and it'll take a minute, but eventually it will display the map that you just created. And if you publish it, I'm going to hit this publish online button, but you could make it in different digital publishing options that would also support the HTML maps and click publish. Once it publishes your website for you, you'll be able to click the view button. And it will give you an internet URL that you can view your project on and then the map will be embedded in the website. And then you could interact with the map however you would interact with it on the internet. And so you could pan and zoom inside to see where you're going. You can zoom in on the map. Um, you could get directions, step-by-step -step directions if you wanted to. Now the second option is if you can get an embed code really for anything on the internet. But I'm going to show you a video. And so I found, this is just one of my videos from one of my classes. You can copy the embed code. Again, you do not want the URL. And you can do the same thing. And so let's delete the map that we made. And let's paste the embed code for the video. It takes a minute to process, but as long as you get that little gray square, you're good to go. And eventually, it will take over. And now it's, it's showing me the size of the video in the embed code. And, and from here, you can publish online. I'm not sure why the preview is telling us it can't play it, but we'll see. We'll see if we publish it, if it will let us. Yeah, I think that was just an InDesign preview. But once we load it on our document, our digitally published Publish Online document, we can now play that video and it will play inside the browser. And so if you can get any embed code, all you have to do in InDesign is literally copy and paste it. And InDesign will automatically figure out that you're trying to embed web content. It will take a minute to process, but you should be able to embed it into your project.